So now that we have our pod object that we made with these nodes, what I want to do is I want to separate this top component from the rest of the pot because that is going to be where the pebbles are and the rest we're going to extrude. So here's a trick to do that. So the last node of this pot, what we are going to do is we are going to separate because I want to have two selections. We are going to separate geometry by where the selection is equal to, and here's a bit of a fancy trick, we're going to see where the vector of the normal, so we're looking at the normals, is equal to this uh, vertical 0, 0, 1 vector. Make sure that this is set to face since we're trying to isolate a face. And you can see now we have the top of the pot and then the rest of the pot, kind of like we hollowed it out, but we still have the bottom of it is preserved. Notice that we could not have done this with a cylinder where we say, oh, cylinder, just have uh, no caps because that does it for the top and the bottom. Right, This uh, method actually separates out the pieces, and the reason it works is because the normal at the uh, top here is exactly pointing upwards towards 0, 0, 1, and no other face is doing that. Uh, even the bottom one is pointing uh, downwards. So that's the only one that's equal to it, and that's why it separates the selection. And now what we can do is we can say, oh, extrude one and uh, distribute uh, pebbles on the other. So in the next part, let's extrude this pot and give it some thickness.